when I was a kid, I had severe acne. Uh, I was on Accutane, I did oral antibiotics, I had the creams and the gels, and I remember going through that, and I was very motivated uh, to try to find better ways, using what I had learned uh, as a scientist, uh, to try to improve acne therapies however I could. Our research is really focused in two areas in acne. Uh, one on trying to understand how to turbocharge existing drugs that we have right now. We have major research programs with pharmaceutical companies uh, in acne to try to understand how you can take drugs that are already uh, in existence, uh, an oral antibiotic for example, and make it something you can deliver to the skin and be more effective, reduce side effects. The other side is really focusing on how can we build better therapies and use the technologies we have to bring new therapies uh, uh, more quickly to subjects. In advanced microscopy, we make use of tools such as lasers. We scan lasers around in tissue, uh, and that generates numerous signals that we can then interpret. Um, so one example would be um, uh, an antibiotic that is fluorescent, and we can track where the antibiotic is. Uh, another example of a tool is um, uh, it would be an imaging system that can, that can visualize drugs natively uh, by their chemical structure. What I would say to people who are suffering now from acne, um, please listen to your dermatologist. Um, there's a lot of stuff on blogs, on the web, and a lot of it, none of us in the research community can back up. Um, the cures are coming. Uh, I really do feel concerned when I, as a scientist who are involved in the acne community, look at and read some of the things that are online. Um, there's a lot of snake oil, and, uh, and I'm concerned people will harm themselves. So please, go to your dermatologist, speak to your dermatologist, uh, uh, and, and get help there.